What's up guys? Uh, welcome to a very unscripted video. Today I just received uh, something I've been waiting for a very long time. <laughs> it's been like a weekend, okay, but it's been hard to wait. So I ordered a KZS suit from uh, Golden Bear Surplus on Thursday and it's Monday and it's here. So very fast shipping and very awesome. So this is the box it has no hazardous materials to the outside because of course there's no hazardous materials in here. So I don't know what's all in here, but I do know what I mainly bought. And it is, it's heavier than you would imagine. It's more of, I would say like 0.75 pounds. Like, I don't, I don't know. But here we got the Chinese pocket knife. Cut through this. Oh, go that far. Or it should be good. All right. Oh, yeah. God. Oh my god, hold on. I, just, I didn't want to cut through. I didn't know what, how it was packed, so I didn't want to cut through my priceless, priceless surplus. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> god damn! We got that surplus smell, man. We got that. It's, it's more hardcore than, uh, uh wow. <laughs> it's more hardcore. That's much, wow. That's cool. Much more hardcore than, uh, what you call it? Oh, oh wow. Oh, the Swiss balaclava they have. Okay, wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at this. Thank you from... Oh, oh, oh. Don't let that fall out. Thank you. Enjoy your free room. Bloom from Gibbs. Or Golden Bears. Surplus. Mesh. <laughs> yeah, so... On that website, it says mech, but you put mesh on it, so... I'm not going to get to the main compartment. Let's see what's in this compartment, though, first. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's fucking sweet dude all right wow look at this so we have some russian rubles 1961 dated with lenin on it wow that's so cool really is a time capsule of that era pretty sweet uh one two three four five five rubles for free he Put these to the side. These are freaking sweet, dude. Ooh, do you smell like surplus? Hold on, hold on. Surplus money. <laughs> no, they smell like normal banknotes. God knows what, what kind of communism's on there. Oh my god. Here it is. It's a cube. <laughs> this literally comes out in a cube. Uh, let me... Oh no, I'll try and take it out like this. Oh, wow, dude. It's cool. No other goodies in here? All right, put that box aside. Here we go, guys. The KZS Brexa suit. It's tied with like burlap. This might be like an issue, I guess. But wow, it feels nice. It feels like a grandma blanket. Yeah. It smells like the grandmas. <laughs> Let me tie this on. I know some of these have like fire retardant chemicals on them that can make your skin irritated, but I'm a real man. I gotta preserve the Soviet, Soviet rope. All right, hold on. Maybe I can just take it off. All right. Cool, cool. This is the rope. This is surplus rope right here. Can't get rid of that. Put it with my rubles. Oh, it smells like Chernobyl. <coughs> okay, I think these are the bottoms. We got the pants right here. Uh, I'm gonna set this aside here, but let's get to the top, bro. The, 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 the top. Okay, check it out. This is the size two. I was scared that might be too small for me, but I think it works, man. <laughs> This is so freaking cool, dude. I've always wanted one of these. Look at this. Chernobyl, baby. Chernobyl up in here. Very long sleeves. I like that. All the buttons seem to be intact. I don't see a single missing button. There's even a button back here. Kind of like the um, Alpenflage jacket. Wow. Nice oversized hood. I thought the material was going to be way thinner. Like, really piece of shit. But actually, it's not that bad. Here's a little uh, hook on top. Wow, dude. You can kind of see through it, 
but barely. Like I can see like through the holes like clearly. It's not that thin. It's kind of like a sock material. See, they only put it through the white wall. So maybe you guys can, I don't know. This is too sweet. I'm gonna unbutton this and put it on. The buttons are laid horizontally. I think the holes are still tight because it's like unissued maybe. Or like semi-new, I guess. Hasn't been broken in yet. Okay, here we go. Wow, nice. It's cool. Definitely gonna be nice to wear in the summer months here in the UP. Here, check it out. Dude, it's such vibrant. Wow, I thought it was gonna be way, way dimmer. You a dumb chemical homie boy. Oh, sick. Wow, dude. This is this is this is freaking neat. Kind of wish a bit went a bit more down, but I think it's all right. Really nice oversized hood. Oh yeah, it goes it goes it goes down. It goes down definitely. No short sleeves. Good range of motion, I'd say. It is what it is. Be really neat to wear. Big old loose thread, but it has a bunch of um hook points here. I don't know. That's probably like the just like hook it or some shit. Here is a tag. Very cool. All right, here we go, all buttoned up, and it is, it's pretty, it's pretty, it fits me pretty well. Um, here is my uh, large, just regular uh, shirt, and it kind of just fits the exact same all around. Maybe a bit shorter here on the back, but we should put on trousers, but uh, let's put on this stuff first. I am now Barexa Man. I'll be doing a review on this relatively soon, but it's just cool to do. Even though it is a thinner material, I do think that it does hold in a little bit of heat, it is, it's like a, a grandma's blanket, like I said. But wow, look, look how vibrant the print is. That is amazing. There's no camera too, especially in this light. I have a window open. It's a good thing. But let's check out these. Uh, let's check out these pants here. I was scared there for a second. I didn't know if they were elastic or not, but they are elastic, which is awesome. So I can fit my corn-fed American body into these bitches. Here is the tag, very faded, and also they're all kind of barely held on. All right, now that we got the top on, do these pants, it's a bit hard to get into them at first, but all in all, man, they're like made of socks, right? So it's kind of just wearing like pajamas, so very nice flexibility. Get down to a nice slab squat. Got the pockets to the inside, which are just my joggers on. Both are really nice. Really, they really fit me quite well, actually. The only thing that's kind of messed up about these is that there's definitely a little bit more fading on the knees, but it's, it's not that bad. No large holes, no rips or anything. It actually kind of looks like it's a bit reinforced here. There's some stitching, kind of like a BDU pant, uh, like here and up here where it has like extra fabric, which is very cool. Here is another look at how the pants are. Definitely good range of motion. Slab squat, no ripping. And even though that these are fitting my big ass corn fit American body, they still work. So very neat, very cool. The KZS Brexa suit, unboxing raw, wild. Another silly thing that Golden Bear did, I guess, <laughs> stay has a wet slash wild inside the package. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to go check out Golden Bear Surplus. It's, he's amazing. I mean, I literally ordered this, put it on my Instagram story, mentioned him, and man, it was already on it. And it was in the post office in like less than an hour, dude. I mean, it was insane. Fast shipping, great selection, and go support it, man. American owned business, it's a small business like that. So, thank y'all for watching. And uh, again, don't forget to check out Golden Bear Surplus. And now, enjoy this swell image compilation. Thank you. KZS Brexit suit review coming soon. One last thing I'm basically fucking Charlie Sheen. Yeah, my